is it? Say it stronger than that. What's the theme for it? Run for your life. So you know what my message is going to be about? Run forward and don't look backwards. It's a serious message too. Let's just get into the word. And Genesis, and Genesis 19, 15, and it says, And when the morning arose, then the angels hastened Lot, saying, Arise, take thy wife and thy two daughters, which are here, lest thou be consumed in the iniquity of the city. We are runners in Christ as Christian believers. As runners in Christ, we just can't be standing down. In the Bible of Genesis, it was talking about Lot. God was planning to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. And God gave Lot favor and said, Lot, in advance, he's going to let you know that you need to walk out. You need to run for your life. That in the city of Sodom and Gomorrah, God is about to rain brimstone and fire upon the place. So as Lot, he gathered his children. He said, I got to run. I can't be in this predicament any longer. I can't look back no longer. I got to run for my life. I can't stay down here and be destroyed. But as he was running, Lot's wife looked backwards. Life wife looked towards the back. And as immediately as she became looked towards the back, she became into a pillar of salt. And the reason why she became it is because she got consumed by her iniquity. That's the point. She got consumed by iniquity. As she was looking backwards, she wasn't just looking backwards to the fallen city. She was looking back to what she loved. She loved the city that was filled with sin, iniquity. She loved the temptations of the devil. She loved it. The reason why she looked back was because she wanted to go backwards. It's because she wanted to backslide. As soon as she left her husband's side, she stopped and she looked to the devil and she basically gave her soul away. And as soon as she became a pillar of salt, she became immovable. Some of us as Christians, we become immovable in the body of Christ. That sometimes, that when we look backwards, sometimes when we backslide, we can't run no longer in the race for God. That we can't move our feet like we once did. We can't go forward. We have to go backwards. But today we're going to say we're going to run for our lives. Today we are moving forward. Just say moving forward. Who's moving forward for Christ? There was powerful men in the Bible who move forward for Christ. And one of them is Paul. Paul, a murderer. Before he got saved, before God opened him, Paul was a murderer. He was at the start line. He didn't even start it. He never even ran. To run for Christ, just to let you know, is to be able to be in continual use of God, to be able to be, keep God in your presence more and more. In the Bible, it's in Psalms 1, in Psalms 1, 2, it says, But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law does he meditate day and night. What that just means is that if you're going to love for the Lord, if you have a goal to go forward in your Christian life, that you're going to meditate on his word day and night. That as you meditate on his word day and night, you are constantly running the race. That you're constantly moving. That you're constantly going out there. You're going forward. But if you're not doing that, then what you're doing? You're just going to stand there? You're just going to just be tempted by the devil. You're going to look backwards. It is better to move than better. And it's not better than to just stand there. As you're a Christian, we got to go forward. Like I said, Saul, a murderer of the Christians. He was as back as a back man could be. He sought after God's people. He slaughtered them. You would think about this man and say, man, this man doesn't deserve to be a Christian. This man killed my Christian brothers, my Christian sitter, my sisters. And you look at this man, you think, and how could God pull a man that I was at his bottom of the barrel, that he was at his low point in life, that God revealed unto him and said, you need a wake up. You need a wake up call right now. I've called you to do a work. You need to go up. You got to start going out. You got to move forward. And you know what happened? You know what happened just to show God's might? Paul was used as one of the most mightiest evangelists of his time. The other Christian brothers didn't know what happened. They thought he couldn't even touch them because he was a person who slaughtered. But just to show you that what's at the back is at the back and what's at the front is at the front. It doesn't matter what the devil has said to you in your past. What the devil has said to you in your past doesn't affect your future. As you're walking for Christ, you're going forward. You can't go back no longer. You can't go back no longer. Going back, you can't think about that fact. In Jesus' name. Another man of God, Jonah. Jonah was a man of God. But then he had a little weakness. He disobeyed God. 
He disobeyed God because of his fear. He feared of what would happen. God told him to go forward, but he was afraid of the next step of going forward. Sometimes as Christians, we're scared to take another step forward. We don't know what's going to happen. We don't know what's going to happen. But the thing is, he went backwards. That's one thing he shouldn't have done. And when he went to backwards and tried to run away from God, now God sent a storm and a whale to devour him. For three days and three nights, he had to pray on his knees. If he didn't pray on his knees for three days and three nights, who knows if Jonah would still be even alive. But he came up to God and said, I'm going to go on my knees. I'm going to repent for my sins. Because you know what? It's time that I kept looking back. It's time that I look forward into my life, into my ministry. You know, God, I made a mistake. And we all made mistakes as humans. In the Bible, when Steve was about to get stoned, God said, he looked up to the heavens while he got stoned. You know the reason why he looked upwards? There's a song that goes, I look not to the left or to the right, but I look over towards the hills from where my grace come from. You understand what that song means? It means you're not looking to the left or the right. You're not looking to the back of you. You're looking to the front of you. You're looking to God to change you, to minister unto you. Y'all understand if you understand that significance of looking forward. If someone here, just keep up, stand up on your feet right now if you understand that you got to move forward in your ministry, that you got to move forward in your walk. For God, you gotta move forward and remember to run for your life. 